Welcome back on Dynamod. Today I want to propose you a video about uh, the facts released the 3 August 2020 by the Gesù Shop about the General Handbook 2020. So now we'll go to see the facts and the commentary about the releasing. And about the errata we can see that there has been an adjustment about the points of some unit that has different points from the same unit in different islands. For example, we can see about the Legends of Nagash x raids that had a major point than the ones that you can find about the Night Hunt, and now the cost is equal to the one about the Night Hunt. So go to verify the points that has been changed so that you can take note, because I noticed such difference in the previous analysis about the channel book 2020, the pitch pot profiles, but I thought that it was quite uh, something that uh, it was uh, done on purpose now it seems that has been an error so go to see and remember to verify the points for each challenge so you have not problems when you create your roosters and then we can find about the commentary and the first one that we can find it's a little about the envies of apotheosis in this case we can find for there are some keywords of some allergies that has not been brought on the envies of Apotheosis. In this case, they simply say that uh, you had to make an agreement with your opponent to play with. Remember that anyway, the enemies of apotheosis are an agreement with your opponent. Anyway, I think that in the future they will bring even more of such keywords so that you can personalize even more and make some adjustments. So, in this case, it's a way to say that you can still play, you have only to find a good way to make an agreement. I think that anyway you can make some, uh, I can say, borrowing for other type of that are similar, so that they are similar strategic uh, as rules and so on, as statistics, uh, so that uh, you can adjust eventually. So remember that anyway it's something that uh, it can be improved. For now anyway, I suggest you to try to play the things uh, as uh, you want, but if you want to play in the matched, uh, try to follow the envies of apotheosis uh, as it said eventually not play your character or trying to make more than you can similar one so that uh, it's useful to have a sort of little balancing because otherwise you risk to derail quite a lot so pay attention about such point and now again something that i talked about in my analysis of the general handbook 2020 and it's about uh, the rules uh, that were available in the previous uh, releasing for example like the mercenaries and it say that you can use them with the agreement of your opponent it's not so great because the mercenaries can be found also in the forbidden power and uh, in other places that it can bring you the components and so on about the mercenaries Simply, I don't like that it has been dismissed so fast, but uh, you have to take note. Eventually, remember anyway that the battle plans are still valid about the 2019, so you can play them. And moreover, remember that you can with the permit of the opponent, but if you are going to play in combination with the new rules, it's not so bad. So I don't think that some of your opponents will make you some not agreement about using them. So remember about this you know something that it's really silly and it's about what to do with the pitch battle profiles that are not in the pitch battle profiles 2020 of the general handbook 2020 and this includes for example the ones that you can find in the white dwarf sincerely about the ones that you can find in the different boxes and so on i don't care because those ones are available technically only for that play and have to have the points to be able to be played with in this case specific one what i mind more it's about the ones that you can find in the white dove and so on that are see that uh, it's like having some house rules when i want to remember you in the white dive is it that are official so in this case uh, it's a bit crazy like this because uh, it's seem like it can be a myth and forbidden something that the jew itself has said that uh, it's available and you can play and have fun in the normal plane. Instead, you have to make an agreement with your opponent. Sincerely, I don't think that some opponent will forbid you to do and use those 
War School Battalions and War School eventually units and so on. But uh, remember that there is such possibility. So pay attention, but uh, really, I think that this is not a good fuck. And then something that, uh, again, uh, it's mess a bit. Cause uh, make that uh, in the Pitch Battle Profile 2020, in this instruct that uh, you had to randomly generate the Shannon rule for unique terrain feature, and he said that uh, you have to take that random result instead to apply the rules for that unique terrain feature that they have yet. So remember that there is such precedence and uh, you have to apply the random new one. Sincerely, I don't find it quite good because uh, I like that if a terrain feature has certain rules, you apply them. It's also true that it's a way to make that all the terrain features are at the same level. But uh, okay, you simply take note about this. And then something that I talked about the actual objectives. And it said that in the normal players it's two auxiliary objectives. Instead, in the meeting engagement and the collation of death agreement to Nermand Park, it's three auxiliary objectives. And it said that it's a way to make that you can make a tiebreaker type that are the concept about the secondary objectives, the auxiliary objectives for each sigma. And it's instead of being kill points, so I agree in this case, because being in such a way you can't repeat them and having free to use, you are able to have more tie breaking and at the same time not to be able to repeat in a, a say easy way them. So I completely agree in this way about such fuck. And then it specified that the auxiliary points are not used to use for the winning or losing, but in the case of separating the different results. So I again completely agree. Again, it's something that it was clear and is specified again. And it's a way to clarify that it's simply a way to separate the different results of the players even in the same range of points. So it's really good as way. And I'm clarifying about how you score points for the place of Arcan Power Battle Plan. And since it was clear also before. So simply when you control an objective you gain one point at the end of the turn. If you are able to control it for two turns consecutively you gain two. And then suddenly so you add each time at the end of the turn the points. So it's really quite simple, but okay, remember that if you lose, you're not able to make the counting come back. So if you control it again, you gain one later again. So it counts that you can count more and more if you are able to control it consecutively. Remember simply it, but it was clear as before. The next fact is instead quite interesting because it talks about the death features that are included or added in your army during a battle and if they count as models for your army. And he uh, said that no, so you can't use a terrain feature to control an object because, okay, it's a terrain feature, even if you paid or so on it, you can't use it as a sort of model of your faction, of your way. So it's simply anyway a terrain feature. So I like this one because it clarifies some eventual dupe that could be brought on. And then we have another interesting fact that it's about the allied units that can gain the victory points in the case the patrons award additional victory points for a specific battlefield role. So in that case, if a unit controls an object and it's an ally and has the right battlefield role, it gives you the victory points related about. So it's really quite interesting this way because uh, it's a way that you can use all the Alice units also for controlling the objectives and be sure that they gain you the points related about. And now something that uh, it was okay, understandable, but uh, it's a good thing that uh, it's specified. And it's about, for example, the Orox that can gain the bottom line if they have a number of models and they lose a number of models during the battle coming under 
a starter requirement, but still they don't lose that role, for example, battle line, if, or so on. So remember that when you determine the rules, it's when you buy the unit, so when you create the rooster itself. And then we have a strange fact that it say that the units that you add suddenly during the game, but you had not taken when you create your pitch battle profile army, then those units can count as improving the amount of rules respect to the maximum amount that you can be allowed to have, but they can't also gain the battlefield rules listed in the pitch battle profile. So technically they are blank unit rules. So they don't gain any bonus. So it means that you have to pay attention when you summon or so on, because even if you have the summoning of, I think for example the Seraphon, new units of battle lines, if it's required that a battle line unit control an objective, the new unit technically can't control an objective if it requires the battle line as a requirement, because it doesn't have the summon unit a battle line rule. Sincerely, I think that this fuck is a bit messy, okay, useful, but it requires also to rethink about using the summoning and adding new units, because it risks that um, you have to pay attention and distinguish which ones are the ones that you are going to use from the start and the ones that you wanted to, I can say, use to cover some deficiencies in your rules, in your battlefield rules. So pay attention about such fuck. So what to say about such fuck? I think that some of these are really quite interesting because they are quite useful for the game itself and specify some clarification that uh, it's a good way for the game. Others, I think, and the seed, they are silly because they mess a bit the things because uh, they make a bit more complicated. So you had better not to have such facts. Anyway, these they are and here we have to take note about. So, from Dino Mode, it's everything. I invite you to put a like on this video, to subscribe to the channel, to ring the bell, and to comment the vid this video if you are interested in something about this video or you want to suggest me some arguments for other videos. I hope to see you again to the next time.